It's a good one today. Okay, I'm, I'll take. Listen, I'll take your word for it. No, it's not. <clears throat> oh, actually, it's fine. <laughs> I was gonna say no, it's not, but that's not fair because I don't know anybody that's in Coraline. But on the other hand, that's okay because I do know people that are in the Amazing Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone are in this movie. So let's start at Coraline and we'll find someone in this that is in other things. There appear to be a few, okay? I'm, I'm racking my brain right now. Just give me a second. I mean, I know how we can get out to, to bigger movies. For sure, Dakota Fanning, War of the Worlds, Tom Cruise. Now you got access to Hollywood. Keith David, The Thing, Kurt Russell. Now you got access to Hollywood. But how do we get to Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, or I don't know anybody else in The Amazing Spider-Man. Okay, Emma Stone was in Crazy Stupid Love with Steve Carell and Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore is in Magnolia with Tom Cruise. Dakota Fanning, War of the Worlds, Tom Cruise, Magnolia, Julianne Moore, Crazy Stupid Love, Emma Stone, The Amazing Spider-Man. Now listen, there's probably a greater distance than you could take, but in terms of just raw speed... That's not too bad. I'm not an efficiency guy. I'm a, um, I'm a, I'm a speed guy. Okay. You're the TAS bot that does spin moves while waiting. So true. What is he talking about? I don't know what that means. So true. This, I've said that about myself. Many times. TAS bot is a robot from SGDQ. OMFG TAS bot SGDQ raffle barbecue uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. That was too fast. We got one minute left in the stream. We can do a, a movie to movie real quick before I hand the stream reins off to my wife. And we'll keep this music going in the background. It's just nice. Okay, Wonder Woman 84 to Shrek. So you always got to think about where you're getting off here. To me, the most obvious way here without thinking about it too much is probably that Gal Gadot was in the ensemble film uh, with Kenneth Branagh, Murder on the Parisian Train, which also starred every other actor in Hollywood history. But then I got to think, there's also Chris Pine. Chris Pine might have done a romantic comedy with Cameron Diaz at some point. Oh, thank you. I need you to buy the money to pee. Okay. You think you can do that? I, we'll figure it out. Thank you for the lunch. It's always a, it's, it's a question about me going to the Asian grocery store all by myself. Because it's very easy for me to buy the wrong product when I don't speak the language. Anyway, let me bring me back here. Chris Pine might have been in a romantic comedy with Cameron Diaz. I could see that. Mike Myers obviously is in Austin Powers with Heather Graham. who was in Bowfinger with Eddie Murphy, who's in Shrek with Mike Myers. But now we've just gone from Shrek to Shrek. I'm trying to find my entry point here, okay? It seems, I'm trying to think, Eddie Murphy has largely been in movies with himself. But he was in the Dolomite Is My Name movie that came out a couple of years ago. I don't know who else was in that. He's in Dream Girls. He was in The Adventures of Pluto Nash with Rosario Dawson. Listen, I got to be honest with you. I think, I think we're going... We'll figure it out on the fly. There might be an easier one, but like, I don't know. 
you know, most of the cast. Pedro Pascal, obviously, I know. Wait a minute, hold on, there's something here. Pedro Pascal, the unbearable weight of massive talent. Nicolas Cage. You tell me Nicolas Cage and Eddie Murphy have never been in a movie together? Kristen Wiig, downsizing, Matt Damon, Cameron Diaz, Shrek. I don't know how you get from Matt Damon to Cameron Diaz, but I believe that it's, it's very doable. Kristen Wiig. Where did I say I was going to start with this one? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, downsizing. Right, right, right. To Matt Damon, to a movie that he was in with Cameron Diaz. Or Mike Myers or Eddie Murphy. Wait, maybe, maybe Deadpool 2 can get you there. This is Julianne Moore. This is Jessica Chastain. This is Anne Hathaway. This is George Clooney. This is Jodie Foster. We bought his, who are you? Jessica Biel? I'm gonna, Jessica Biel, presumably, that's not Jessica Biel, that's Scarlett Johansson, I'm lost! Scarlett Johansson, Sing 2, which must feature a star-studded speaking cast. I would say that's definitely true. It's got everybody. Except Mike Myers, Cameron Diaz, and Eddie Murphy. But that's okay. We can get there. Via Tropic Thunder. Matthew McConaughey, Tropic Thunder... Ben Stiller and Eddie Murphy were both in a movie together. Is it Tower Heist? It is Tower Heist. That takes you to Shrek. Okay. Shrek 1. Shrek. Shrek the first? Shrek? Are we looking for Shrek? Where are we going? We're trying to get to Shrek. Okay. He's done it. Total distance 6. It took us a while. Gal Gadot is just... She's in night and day? I've never seen that because I don't watch Cameron Diaz movies with Tom Cruise except for Vanilla Sky, which I have a soft spot for for whatever reason. It's pretty bad. I heard that. That was before Tom Cruise said he was only going to do good movies. Can you get the Shrek from Pistachio Disguise? Uh, excuse me. That's the easiest thing in the world. Master of Disguise, Dana Carvey, Wayne's World, Mike Myers, Shrek. Dana Carvey, Kristen Wiig, Anchorman, Will Ferrell, Austin Powers. But that... the. Oh, then Austin Powers to Shrek. I see. But who does... It, it, this is not necessarily the rules of the game. But I feel like it's... Like, if you don't know who the actor or actress played in the movie, that shouldn't count. Who is Kristen Wiig in Anchorman? Does she play Fred Willard's assistant? Come on, man. Okay, hold on. We're going from... Someone said, can you go from Meet the Spartans to 300? She's Brick's love interest in Anchorman 2. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Okay. From Meet the Spartans to 300. Okay. Well, first we need to get from somebody in Meet the Spartans to actual Hollywood actors and actresses. So this is uh, Borat's manager. Method Man is in Garden State. Ike Barinholtz has been in a lot of stuff. Tiffany Haddish has been in a lot of stuff. Diedrich Bader, of course, was in Napoleon Dynamite. Kevin Sorbo's been in a lot of good stuff recently. Um, I think we're going Ike Barinholtz. And now we got to get essentially to Gerard Butler or to Michael Fassbender. Or Connie Nielsen, I think. Easiest one, you could probably get yourself to Gerard Butler. I think I'm going to scroll down. I don't think, this is too easy to use that. And I'm thinking, just work with me here. Bright, Will Smith. And then give me a second, okay? 
find the part of his career where he was making good stuff. No, not here. Anchorman, sure. You could probably make it work. Don't get me wrong. I'm trying to get to Gerard Butler or Michael Fassbender. Oh, take me back. Take me back one. Take me back to this in bright Numi Rapace, who is also in Prometheus with Michael Fassbender, who's in 300. Hey. And who does Numi Rapace play in bright? Mm, a woman, for your information. You should try it today's actoral. Actoral? Actoral. Okay. I've never seen this website before. Is there a is there a dark mode? Because I know chat's gonna yell at me. Hold on, flashbang out. Find the actor of the day who starred in all of these movies. Okay. Let's see. They were in a movie that's probably Cats from 2019 that is insanely bad. And then a lot of otherwise middling movies. Could this be, could one of these be, could this be Jame Duty Dench? Could this be The Chronicles of Riddick somewhere in here? I'm going to say that this is Judy Dench. Wrong. She's 88 years old. Okay, so what? But she is in Dougal. Top right, we'll put it in the dark mode. Okay, okay. Saved. Oh, that actually did feel like it relieved some stress. Where's the best movie? 2003. I feel like this is a Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, the return of the king. So it's a Lord of the Rings actor who's also in Cats, which I just simply don't know the answer, but they must be British. Unless it's Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler was in Armageddon in like 1998. That's not in here. So let's say not Liv Tyler. I doubt it's going to be Elijah Wood. He would be Deep Impact like 1998. Sean Astin has been around for a bit. Maybe maybe the Goonies is in here. Is Rudy in here? Rudy? 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 I don't see Rudy. They were in X-Men in 2000. They were in X-Men and Lord of the Rings. That fe that feels like it should be so obvious. Unless this is not the... No, it's got to be Lord of the Rings. It's got an 8.8. .8. They were in all of the... They, they were... No, that's... Okay. They were in X-Men and the, all the Lord of the Rings movies. This should be so obvious. And yet it escapes me because it's Ian McKellen. Ah, okay. I was like, Hugh Jackman. Where was Hugh Jackman in Lord of the Rings? Didn't you BM dark mode on Dan's stream today? Excuse me. I didn't BM dark mode. I BM'd people who can't focus on anything if dark mode isn't on. I said, MFs will really say, OMG, use dark mode rather than developing a real personality. Also, listen, I'm just here trying to entertain you. Okay? Sometimes I will lie in order to make that happen. The ends justify the means. So if you're like, oh, but that is like dishonest, it's, it's incongruent with the statement you made earlier. Yeah, I lied to make you laugh two times, okay? If I told the truth, you probably wouldn't have laughed at all. You think stand-up comedians get up on stage and then talk about uh, shit that actually happened? They would be like, I flew into my hotel room last night and went to sleep. I was walking down the street the other day and I arrived at my destination without incident. Be the last time you ever go see a Sebastian Maniscalco show, let me tell you that. I like that you said, please delete, I can't. But because you typed, I can't, it looks like, please delete, and then you can't stop laughing. Past games. Okay, let's, let's do yesterday's as well. Please delete the... <clears throat> okay. Here it is. Zoom in, please. I can't. I can't. They've been in a lot of pretty good movies. Careers started in 
2007 with The Mist, my favorite action comedy. Uh, comedy drama romance. Hmm. I don't know why I'm feeling this could be Jennifer Lawrence. Burger in the Ketchup Sauce from 2017. Ah, no, no, no. This is the Kenneth Branagh film. I'm from 2007. It could one of these be Wonder Woman? I know this is Murder on the French Train for sure. Who is in that movie? Josh fucking Gad. Start me with a Josh Gad. It's not Josh Gad. They are older than Josh Gad, okay? I thought for sure it was Josh Gad, man. 2018, this is The Revenant. A comedy, my favorite comedy. A drama from 2020. This is Lil Women. It's not Little Women, it's Lil Women. This one should be easy. She's... Bonk Bonky. It's a science fiction family animated comedy. <laughs> it's a 2022, 2022 action, no, animated adventure comedy fantasy film from last year. Mar Marcel with the, with the shell on his back. I have to think of a, you know what, you know who, oh wait, but the Johnny Depp is not, he's older than 41, but he didn't start his career in 2007. I'm looking for an old person who started their career late. What the hell? What am I supposed to do about that? Or is, does it not take their whole filmography? Maybe it just takes the most noteworthy ones? In which case... Or may, just the last 20 or something like that? It's the actor's top 30 movies listed based on inflated box office data. Inflation-adjusted box office data. Biggest movie of 2007, Transformers. Or is this the biggest one right here? 2007. 2000, they had a big year in 2007. Let me put it that way. I do not think this is Johnny Depp. Had a big year in 2011. Had a big year in 2012 and 2013. A lot of comedies. A lot of romance. A historical. Who's been in this many comedies, man? I mean, I gotta, I gotta throw out Will Ferrell. They are between Will Ferrell's age and Josh Gad's age. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, we got no information. I have no idea. Could not tell you. I have absolutely no guess. Red means you're more than 10 years off. So they're like 44. I got a Simon Pegg? Simon Pegg. Wrong. But he is in Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz is in this. Hot Fuzz. The other guy. What's the other guy's name? Carl Urban. No, what's you know you know who I'm talking about. What's the other guy's name? Nick Frost. This is impossible. This can't be done. It's undoable. Who else is in Hot Fuzz, man? A lot of old people. Oh, you know Olivia Coleman? Oh! oh. <laughs> He's cracked. He's cracked. Okay, I'm going to send you over to my wife's stream. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. Later. No wonder her highest box office was so low. Okay, so check it out. So, by the way, casting spoilers for Doctor Strange 2 incoming. I'd like to apologize for that. If you haven't seen Doctor Strange 2 and you, you're interested in it, close the tab, okay? Who's in Doctor Strange? Benedict Cumberbatch. 
Elizabeth Olsen, Rachel McAdams, Benedict Wong, John Krasinski, Patrick Stewart, Chiwetel Legiofer. So we Robert Pattinson, I'm trying I'm thinking you can go to Tenet, Kenneth Branagh, Death on the Nile, and then you have access to every actor that's ever existed. Taylor Lautner was in Cheaper by the Dozen too. Kristen Stewart has been in Adventureland with Ryan Reynolds, who was with... Listen, we can get there, okay? So I think we're going to go... Let, let me get started here. I think we're going to start with... Well, let me scroll for a second. Anna Kendrick. It's an interesting one. She's in Pitch Perfect. With who, though? Ah, Paul Jarrett, of course. That's another classic. No offense if he's watching the stream right now. Um, I'm going to go Kristen Stewart. I'm going to go Adventureland. I know it seems a little crazy. It's probably not the fastest way to do it. And we're trying to get to... Let's see, pick a target, okay? Let's say we're trying to get to... I wouldn't say John... Wait, I'm going back. Take me to Twilight. Hold on, I'm cheating. Because I'm, I'm going right back. To try. The, I know how to do this now. It is Twilight Eclipse, Dakota Fanning, War of the Worlds... Tom Cruise, um, the, the, um, ba, 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 Tomorrow Never Dies, Live, Die, Repeat, The Day After Tomorrow, Edge of Tomorrow, Emily Blunt, A Quiet Place, Part 1, John Krasinski, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. That's, I found my, I found my line. It's a bit of an unusual one. I wouldn't say we went necessarily through main cast there. Martin Starr? Oh, that's true. Martin Starr is literally in Spider-Man. <laughs> but is Benedict... Well, you could get there. You would just go into Spider-Man, Tom Holland. Like Endgame or Infinity War, Benedict Cumberbatch. Anyway, that's not bad. That's a reasonable trip. Four is not too bad. I'll do, I know Kate's live. I'm going to do actoral real quick, though. Actoral. Ah, that's a good one, too. Robert Pattinson to uh, The Lighthouse to Willem Dafoe. And then from Willem Dafoe, Tom Holland, to Benedict Cumberbatch to, like, Endgame, or, or sorry, to, to Doctor Strange 2. Okay. These are in... Order of their box office gross. Adjusted for inflation. 1997? What the heck is dot, 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 dot? It, it, uh, da, 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 da. This is an, an actor or an actress who predominantly, most of their most famous work, it, it's still coming out, but was also more like in the 90s and the early 2000s. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. But why did the... Wait, these ones are just listed chronologically? I've been lied to. But this... Just this filmography makes me think of Brad Pitt. 1991 to 2022. To me, that seems Brad Pittable. Brad Pitt. Wrong. They are younger than Brad Pitt. And have never been in a movie with Brad Pitt. <laughs> okay. Um, and they're still active right now. Drama, drama, we 2007, Western. That's not the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. We got a war movie that isn't Fury. 
We got an action thriller from 2020. This might sound a little crazy. Just toss me a Jennifer Garner. They are between 50 and 59 years of age. They've never been in a movie with Jennifer Garner. <laughs> Adventure, drama, war. Still making movies? Between age 50 and 59? What's your best movie? 8.5 in the year 2000? I mean, that's pretty good. Oh! Wait, but what's this from... Oh, no, this is, it's Russell Crowe. 2000 is Gladiator, 8.5. 2022 is Thor, Love, and Thunder. What the heck was he in in, in 2021 that was so well-liked? Blank, blanks, blank, blank? Zack Snyder's Justice League? I guess review bombing can be positive, too. Um, anyways, Russell, Russell Crowe, guaranteed. Plus two, plus two. I thought Brad Pitt was a pretty good first guest. That's a good actoral, though. Um, hey, thanks for watching. I'm going to send you over to my wife's stream, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you then. That is not what Russell Crowe looks like. It was what Russell Crowe looked like in 1999, for your information. Pay out the doubters. It's 2.01. I will send the message to my wife. Slash marker. The end of Switch Golf. Are you ready to go live? Smiley face. And then the world's fastest movie to movie. Chip, have you ever played movie to movie? I don't know if you watch movies. So this might not... Be no, you have a letterbox. You watch movies. You might like movie to movie. It's a lot of fun. Ready? I, th I think today's is pretty easy. I'm not going to stress it too much because I think that Kate's already getting ready to go live. Spencer to Oz the Great and Powerful. Okay, so we go Kristen Stewart. And we're trying... You know how we do this? We go... I know this. I know how to get here. We go Adventureland. We follow that. We're trying to get to Oz. We're trying to get to James Franco. To me, it seems like there's absolutely no doubt that Martin Starr is in Knocked Up with Seth Rogen, who's in a lot of movies with James Franco. Who then did Oz the Great and the Powerful. Okay, see, that's not, that's pretty easy. You could go through a lot. You could go through, well, you could go through just about anything, quite frankly. Just about any movie made between the year, like, two, in that they're in, 2006, but then, what, what am I talking about? I forgot. I lost all, all reasoning. Okay, Kate is ready to go live. Okay, I will send them. Now, that was a lie. Because I'm just quickly going to actoral as well. Actoral is always a little harder. It's mostly because I can't zoom in. They were in movies in their their biggest movie, 1971. They were in R.I.P.D. in 2013. This is Jeff Bridges. Okay, pretty good actoral today. <laughs> that was a, that was an easy one. <laughs> I just, just I, I can't think of any other movie that is four letters and has a dot between each of the letters. But normally actoral is a little harder. We're mixing it up. I'm going to do a little movie to movie right now before we pivot because I don't know what I'm pivoting to. Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace to Dodgeball a True Underdog Story. In all likelihood, I am thinking that there is possibly a movie that Ewan McGregor was in with Ben Stiller or Vince Vaughn. Let's just run it through. Who we got here? Liam Neeson. Realistically, we got Liam Neeson, Natalie Portman, and Ewan McGregor. Who we got in Dodgeball? It's a rogues gallery of comedians. Vince Vaughn. Ben Stiller. Christine Taylor. Justin Long. Rip Torn. 
Alan Tudyk, who's also done a lot of voice work, let's recall. Um, uh, Stephen Root from Office Space is another one. Okay, I'm just deciding where I'm going with this one, okay? And I think I'm going to start... I want to I wanna find myself in the mid-2000s. So I'm going to start with Ewan McGregor. And I'm going to scroll down. Let's see what he was in around this period. I have never seen Nanny McPhee in The Big Bang. Hold on. Angels and Demons. That's going to be Tom Hanks. I love you, Philip Morris. It's Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, Ben Stiller, possibly been in a movie together. Live 8, that seems like cheating to me. The Island, Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. To Ben Stiller or Vince Vaughn. I'm not getting there, but I am going, okay, hold on. Scarlett Johansson. to Ghost World, to Steve Buscemi, to Billy Madison with Ben Stiller. The Island, Scarlett Johansson, Ghost World, Buscemi, Billy Madison, Ben Stiller, Adam Sandler, Happy Gilmore, Ben Stiller. This is too many steps. We did find a path, though. Uh, dodgeball. Total distance of five. That's a little high. Come on, Natalie Portman, Zoolander. What? Natalie Portman's in Zoolander? She plays herself in Zoolander? Steve Buscemi's in the island? I didn't know that. I've never seen it. Oh, Anchorman 2 is like... That's like... When everybody starts using Anchorman 2 as like the nexus, that's when we've wordled movie to movie. That's when like, oh, I always start with favor because it has the highest incident of... five. Just, just fucking ball. Just freestyle a little bit. Have some fun with it. You don't need to min-max all the fun out of it, you know, immediately. That being said, mostly I'm just upset I didn't remember it. Okay, let's try actoral. You may remember we got actoral immediately on Friday. What the heck is going on? Rib Knit Beanie from Holzweiler? Does this site always have ads? Turn up brim and pull on style? Excuse me, can you get Adobe Pro out of here? Best ways to invest in gold. My two cents, I know is crazy. Um, buy it, forehead. I'm, t I'm, I'm upset. I'm upset with this right now. You know what it is? I need to get on my pro account. There we go. Now I'm signed in on pro. Okay. I'm looking at IMDB scores. I'm looking for anything too high. I'm looking for anything too low. They've been in movies as recently as last year. They got a seven. That's pretty good. And I'm looking for strange titles. Like three letters is probably the. Could this be Goodbye Fries? Goodbye Fries. The Girl in. The Dragon Tattoo. The 2010 Crime Drama History. Comedy Romance. Drama Romance. They've been in a lot of romances. Been in a lot of romances. A family fantasy romance. Action, adventure, comedy, science fiction, western. I have no clue. History musical. Family fantasy music. Comedy romance from 1995.
and they've been in movies as recently as last year. I have absolutely no idea. I'm stunned. I would say that this is Julia Roberts is wrong. They are older than Julia Roberts and they've never been in a movie together. Okay, that's a bad start. Um, they are one of the only actors to not be in the Kenneth Branagh movie, A Death on the Nile. And that, that seems crazy to me. A Midsummer's Night's Dream. Fantasy comedy romance, A Midsummer's Night's Dream. Who the heck was in 1999, A Midsummer's Night's Dream? <laughs> Ian McKellen. <laughs> it can't be. Pat, maybe this, some British actor. Was, was Patrick Stewart in that? No, they are younger than 82. Who was in A Midsummer's Night's Dream? Kenneth Brana. He does all the Shakespeare ones. They are older than 62. The Road to El Dorado? What ha and Wild Wild West? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, well, it's not Will Smith. Because we don't see, like, Hancock. We don't see the men's in black. Salma Hayek was in the hitman's wife's bodyguard, which would be around here, but I don't see it. Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein could be in a Midsummer's Night's Dream. It is Kevin Klein. How about that? Most famous for a lot of movies I've not seen, but also A Fish Called Wanda, which is really good. I didn't know he was still working. The Bob, oh, because I haven't seen the Bob's Burgers movie. <laughs> My mistake. Well, you know what I'm realizing here looking at this? I have seen Beauty and the Beast, but I think he probably just plays a, uh, a voice. Um... I have not seen a Kevin Klein movie. Since Wild Wild West. And then prior to Wild Wild West, um, I've only seen a fish called Wanda. <laughs> I'm not that familiar with the Kevin Klein uh, filmography. I hear Dave is amazing. I've always heard good things about Dave. I've heard Sophie's Choice is incredible. No, I've never seen The Hunchback of Notre Dame. What was crazy is on the Disney cruise, we saw um, you know, some of the shows that they do. The same dude they had playing Quasimodo, they also had him playing an ugly guy in another production. And I'm like, he's just a normal looking guy. How, do you, how attractive do you have to be to be attractive enough to be hired to be an actor in a Disney production, but still a little ugly, so they cast you as the ugly guy. You still got to be pretty hot, right? I don't know. Ask Josh Gad. Don't make me insult Josh Gad, okay? Josh Gad. Bro, come on. <laughs> I got nothing against Josh Gad. I was thinking more of a situation where, you know, like you got Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson in the same movie. And like Owen Wilson's the hot one and Vince Vaughn's like melted ice cream. I wasn't thinking necessarily about Josh Gad. Anyway, let's play some golf. Oh my God. Lois, 1988, something, something with a 7.2. I'm looking for high scores first to show me what to pay attention to. We got a really bad movie from 2008. We got a really bad movie from 2020, a pretty bad movie from 2018 too. A blank blank. 
Holmes and Watson. Is Holmes and Watson on here? Is this Will Ferrell? Holmes and Watson. Drama, action, action. Musical drama from 2007. They got a 7.6. I should know this. Music drama? Is it called La 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 La? Drama, romance, comedy, comedy. This one should be easy too. It's got so many exclamation marks. Blank and blank, blank, blank. Family fantasy comedy adventure. A science fiction movie, a science fiction crime movie from 2001. Blank and blank, 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 1999. A lot of action. Some con this is a very versatile actor. A lot of comedy. A comedy from 2021. A lot of comedy. Family adventure. <laughs> so I can just keep repeating it. I'm going to throw one out here. I'm going to throw out Mark Wahlberg. I don't think it's Mark Wahlberg. But I thought, you know, he's done a lot of action. He's done a lot of comedy. He was top of mind. Don't see it, okay? I have no other guesses. Are they older than Jackie Chan? They are older than Jackie Chan and doing comedies. You're going to think this is crazy. Is it possible this is John Lithgow? He's been in hyphenated movies like Planet of the Apes, The Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. He's been in uh, This is 40. John, John Lithgow? John... John Lithgow, thank you. They are younger than John Lithgow and have never heard of him, okay? They're between 51 and 77. This is a gimme. You go Liam Neeson. Wrong. They are younger. They are older than Liam Neeson, but younger than John Lithgow. So this is a septuagenarian. This is impossible. <laughs> it's... They're 70? 70 years old. Sylvester Stallone. Arnold. Okay, they're between 70 and 75. John Goodman is actually a great guess. John Goodman. It's not John Goodman. And also, none of these people have ever been in movies with any of them. Bill Murray's another great guest. I'm just farming from chat right now. They're between 72 and 75, and they've never been in a movie with Mark Wahlberg, John Lithgow, Liam Neeson, Sylvester, Arnold, John Goodman, or Bill Murray. They're 72 to 75. Parse some titles. What are you to like? Unless there's X Men in there, I'm screwed. Hello. I heard you're right, but I feel like you might have dissed uh, League of Legends. I didn't. I dissed uh, your cousin for saying he said he was going to quit League of Legends, and then as soon as we got home, he was on Summoner's Rift. Oh, I see. <clears throat> well, because I'm, I'm streaming League of Legends. Oh. Do you know today is the day that they opened the 2023 season? I did not know that. Well. That's why. Did you know that up until yesterday, the Buffalo Sabres had never scored less than six goals when they were wearing their reverse retro jerseys? What the heck? Why would I know that? Why would I know that? I don't know. That? Just, just spitballing. Who knows that in the chat? <laughs> Check who knew? <laughs> Yo, you made Mandu. It's my last dose. I'm sad. I'm all out now. My, my last... Last bit of food. But Mando, I gotta say, it's the best meal prep a human can ever think of. It's pretty good. I just can't fold the dumplings. So it was Gerard Depardieu. Listen, I know this man's name. I'm sure I've seen a movie with him in it. I know he's a famous French actor, but there's like no shot. Let me see. Have I seen any of these? I, I've seen like a third of the life of Pi. I have not seen Babylon AD. I have seen Paris Je t'aime, okay, but like that's an ensemble film. That's an ensemble film. That's not 
That's a movie that consists of like 13 short films. It's not like he's carrying the cast, okay? Listen, I did see 102 Dalmatians, but that was like a long time ago. Like I was probably sitting on the gymnasium floor. What the heck is ra? Ra? Isn't that what people reply to when you post a thirst trap on Twitter? Hey, out shopping today. See you guys on stream later. Woof, woof. Burger. Down, boy. Woof. Bark for you? Why don't you fucking bark for me, huh, pussy? Bark for me right fucking now. Ra. Ra. Woof, woof. Burger. Down, boy. Woof. Oh, sorry, that's Apollo's stream title. <laughs> he got that dog in him. Guess the game? I'm not doing Wordle, okay? I have no respect for Wordle. I will try to guess the game. Wordle is for people who go to city council meetings, and that's just not me. This is um, like a PlayStation 2 game. You know what? This is a Siphon Filter. Siphon, this is Siphon Filter 2. Wrong. Metacritic score is 98. That's pretty good. This is Beyond Good and Evil. Original platform PS3, Xbox 360. This is uh, GTA 5. Grand Theft Auto 5. Action Adventure Open World. This is Grand Theft Auto 4. A gimme. I'm a little surprised it's not Siphon Filter uh, 2, though. Can I see yesterday's? Replay previous day. Unplayed. This shit is like a damn. Uh, this is Skyrim. This is that Ubisoft game that's called From Dust. Wrong. This is Skyrim. <laughs> this is Dishonored. This is Resident Evil 4. This is... um. <laughs> I know you. Alan Wake? Alan Wake 1? He's crazy. I'm crazy. Replay previous days here. How about day 30, 239? This is Control. Metacritic score 84. It's Far Cry 4. Far Cry 5. PC, PS4, Xbox One. This is Dying Light. Genre, RPG. Final Fantasy 13 2. Is Fallout 4? That's a gimme. <laughs> He's washed. <laughs> You've played that? That's true. I didn't just play it, I beat it. What's this one? It's Deadly Premonition. Metacritic score of 84. So a bad game. Um, it's Tokyo Jungle. PC, PS4. This is DMC. This is Devil May Cry. Four. This is The Division. This is the division two. He's crazy. I'm insane at this game, honestly. I will never miss a day. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I will send you over to Kate. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and I'll see you tomorrow. From Tokyo Jungle to the division two. Yeah, I apologize, because the division two might be a bad game, but Tokyo Jungle isn't. There's some art. 
some art in Tokyo Jungle. Very easy movie to movie today, too. Okay, you know what? Let's go check it out. Let's... <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> um, listen, I, I'm, I'm not going to set like a new record for uh, links. Like I might, I might take a little, it, it might take a few extra steps. However, I mean, one of the terminal points is Zoolander. So you definitely just go like... I'm just seeing who, uh, who else is in Schindler's List here. You're either going Rafe Fiennes or Liam Neeson, in my opinion. But you could go Ben Kingsley. <sighs> you got to go Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson's been in some comedies, okay? And then we're going to scroll it down a little bit. Lots of people are in Zoolander. So let's take your time. Um, is Mel Gibson in Zoolander? No, but he might be. No, wait, hold on. Will Ferrell is obviously in Zoolander. He plays Mugatu. That's a total distance of two. That's an easy one. But the other thing is, everybody's in uh, Zoolander. <laughs> I, I did not know that Liam Neeson was in Daddy's Home 2 I gotta check that one out I have seen Daddy's Home 1 on an airplane Is that the one where Will Ferrell is a stepdad? Yes, Will Ferrell plays a stepdad um, And he gets He feels emasculated Because the father of his child is like a, a badass biker guy. So he tries to become a badass, but then he finds out that his wife is like, what are you doing, idiot? I love you because you're like a good guy. Mark Wahlberg was like a horrible father. Also, I'm Linda Cardellini. Atriaca Senior Movie to Movie Progress via Library of Letourneau videos. That's funny. Yeah, we know that Mark Wahlberg is like not like he's done bad things in his life, but he's also done very like bad things semi recently, like suggesting in an interview with Men's Health that if he was on the airplane, 9 11 wouldn't have happened. We don't need to dredge up ancient history. We'll just like, you know, bring up some history from fairly recently instead and see that, you know, he's probably had a little bit of character growth, but also not, not enough, in my opinion. He's also made horrible movies. What are you talking about? He is a pretty good filmography. He's in The Departed. Okay, Ted 2 and also Ted 1. I would probably, I would, I would agree with you on that one. He's in Boogie Nights. Transformers. Listen, but we're not going to throw everybody under the bus for Transformers. John Malkovich is in Transformers. John Turturro is in Transformers. That doesn't mean Barton Fink doesn't exist. Like, that's... Listen, if Michael Bay came to you and said, all you got to do is read like two lines and all the lines are like, you know, they're transforming. Like then here's a $5 million. You would do it too. You would go in. Yes, you would. All right, Kate, are you ready? Because I'm going to use my smartphone to save and quit the menu. And then I'm going to very quickly do movie to movie. Like very quickly. Because I also forgot I have a... I mean, I don't want to flex on anybody. I have a meeting after this at 2.30, and I got to eat some lunch, so we got to be pretty quick on this one. We got to be pretty, pretty quick. Okay, this today's movie to movie looks pretty easy, okay? Live free or die hard to hackers. Immediately, I'm thinking you go Bruce Willis to Angelina Jolie. You can't tell me that there's not, like, we can't go through Armageddon and get there. Or, like, the whole nine yards. Or... There's got to be something. Either way, listen, there's probably a faster way. There's always going to be a faster way. Like, ju maybe Justin Long could get you there. Why is Timothy Oliphant's photo in black and white like, he's, like he died? Is he okay? I'm thinking, you know, what has Justin Long been in that might have Angelina Jolie? Surely there's, like, uh, Justin Long... Uh, 
to movie 43 to Hugh Jackman to Angelina Jolie, but I'm going Bruce I'm going Big Willie style here, okay? He's been in a lot of movies lately. We are looking for something related to Angelina Jolie. I'm just going to be honest. I think the Expendables might be a little too easy. Let, let's try something a little bit more creative, okay? It's more about finding our own way through the puzzle. So Angelina Jolie. I'm thinking of big Angelina Jolie movies. Obviously, she's in um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith with Brad Pitt. Obviously, she's in Salt with Morgan Freeman. Obviously, she's in Tomb Raider with Daniel Craig. She's been in a lot of ass movies, huh? Angelina Jolie's film catalog, not that good. It's not, it's not that good for someone that, is, that has done so many movies and is like a huge Hollywood star. I mean, okay, you go Ocean's 12, Brad Pitt. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Angelina Jolie. I mean, that, and then Hackers, sorry. Forgot about the last step. <laughs> it's a total distance of three. I'm not trying to hate on her. I'm just saying, she's, you know, maybe a better way to describe it is that she's not in many ensemble films. When Angelina Jolie is in a movie, it's usually like just her. She's the biggest star in the movie and everybody else can get bent. I don't know if that's true. Three is par. Dude, come on. I think three is a birdie. Because you need to have space for an albatross. I don't even think you can get one. One is just like they're in the same movie you started from. So I think you got to do like four is par. Three is a birdie. Then two is an eagle. Because that's very special. Five is a bogey. Okay, today's movie to movie. Gone in 60 seconds to Split. Okay. Split stars James McAvoy and Anya Taylor-Joy. And probably a bunch of other people. Gone in... I'm trying to think of how we get here. So James McAvoy is... Oh, okay. This is how we get here. We go Angelina Jolie, Wanted, James McAvoy, got, uh, and then Split. Okay, well, that's honestly the easiest movie to movie I've ever seen. I was like, what movies has... Uh, has James McAvoy been in? Um, okay, so he's been in uh, X-Men and then also Wanted. Okay, there you go. That's an easy one. That means we got time for a psychotic actoral. I tried that one that was called like Cinemodal or whatever. That was like, you, it's, it's like um, Countdown or not Countdown, but like the British one, Puzzle Up, where you get four... A four by four grid of actors, settings, directors, and concepts. And it, honestly, it was just too much information for me to. It, it's, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just a little inelegant for me. It was, it was too much to put together. I couldn't, I couldn't maintain a consistent mental through line. Okay. Actoral. They got a bad movie from 1997, they got an amazing movie from 2008. And then vanished off the planet. A drama action. That's the Dark Knight. Okay, so that's the Dark Knight. What else are they in? Are they in Batman Begins from 2005? It doesn't appear so. This has got to be Heath Ledger then. Okay, it's yet again the easiest actoral of all time. How are you built like this? Well, that, I mean, that wasn't easy. You see a 9.0. There's got to be like two movies on IMDb that have a 9.0. It's like that and Fight Club and maybe the Shawshank Redemption. And then maybe a bunch of people lying about how much they love Citizen Kane. Okay, guess the game. Try guess the game real quick. This looks so familiar to me. Like that, that looks like Tomb Raider. 2014. Wrong. This is Halo. This is Halo 3. This is... Genre, sci-fi shooter. This is Halo 4. 
released 2013. This is Destiny. Digital extra. Oh, it's Warframe! You nailed it. The answer was Warframe. It's all Halo. <laughs> you replay a previous day real quick. How about 229? This is Prometheus. This is Death Stranding. I really, I 100% thought it was. It's got a 79. So it's ass. I'm going to skip. I don't have an answer for you. Original platform, PC, PS4, Xbox One. Outer, is this No Man's Sky? It looks like a No Man's Sky spaceship. No, it's action adventure. You have unlocked New Journey Plus. It's, it's a star. Oh, is this um, 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 Fallen Order? Fallen Order is a 79. I thought, I thought that was like a, an 88. I thought people were in love with that game. Bully does not look this good. That's all I'm going to say. But they, did they make a remake? Because it, it certainly looks like Bully is the, is the setting. But let's try Bully. Oh, it's, um, it's Rainbow Six Siege. All right. I mean, it's, listen, I don't need to share my results. Replay previous day. 224. This is so gettable. I'm skipping first. Metacritic score of 80. It's Valorant. <laughs> How do I... Just something about the way that the game looks. I'm not a big Valorant guy, but it looks unique. And I don't even mean that in a negative way. Like, just from looking at this, I was like, oh, this, this doesn't look generic. Let me put it that way. Yeah, it looks a little like Play-Doh. I don't even mean that in a negative way. I like Play-Doh. This is uh, Spec Ops The Line. It's a Metacritic score of 88. Holy cow. Really? I'm skipping. Original platform PC. It's Counter-Strike. It's Counter-Strike. Source. Okay. <laughs> My problem with guess the game is when you guess the franchise and it doesn't give it to you. I feel like the franchise should count. I've played this. This is a God of War. Metacritic score of 83. This is a Devil May Cry. This is a God of War. It's God of War 3. It's an action-adventure game. The Legions of Hell. This is Dante's Inferno. I say bark, you bark. Released in 2010. I don't know. Two guesses remaining. I skip. Oh, it's Dark Strokers. <laughs> Dark Siders. That's I did, and but you know what? I did play this. I I didn't play much, but I bought it in a Steam sale back when I thought that um, it was worth buying everything that was like seventy five percent off. And I played like probably a couple hours, and I was like, that was fun. And then I was like, I'll get back to this, and then I never came back again. Is it is it global? Is that the is that the other one people like? Guess which country this is on global. Or Worldle? Worldle is better than, than, than Global. Okay, Worldle. Well, listen, I'll tell you, I'm pretty sure that this one is a country in like East Africa. So I'm in a world of hurt. <laughs> Maybe it's a country in West Africa. Maybe this is Senegal. I'm 2,000 kilometers away. Maybe this is Sierra Leone. Further away. Maybe this is 
I'm, I'm bad at African geography. This is Nigeria. <laughs> this is Ghana. This is the Central African Republic. Oh, yikes. It's up from Senegal? I can't do that. Are you... You kind of look like you... Listen, you might be, be Tunisia. Oh, no! Oh, it's left of Tunisia? What is it? Portugal? Oh, no! I'm gonna enjoy the rest of your afternoon. It does look like Portugal. Probably because it is. Delete the VOD, delete the VOD. They should have given me Italy, man. Why couldn't I log on when it's Italy? I know a girl who has a level two bear. She's always overriding whatever food was there. She don't like garlic. She don't like cheese. She don't like lemon or any of these she uses scampi for scampi okay honey also works which makes more sense okay what the hell is this this early flaming lips boomer 